time and Ron Roberts has put together a terrific recruiting class based largely on transfers. But before we talk about that, your team, Coach Roberts, exceeded everyone's expectations. 11 and 3, first ever Southland Conference Championship, first ever appearance in the NCAA tournament. Um, did the team maybe exceed your expectations a little bit? Yeah, they did. They did. I mean, I thought going into the beginning of the year, I, I really felt uh, we, I thought we could get to the eight, nine win mark. You know, if everything went well, you know, uh, we can pop off 11 wins. So it, it was a great experience. It was a great season, obviously, for everyone. It was a great season for everyone. Yes, it was. And although you had a bunch of terrific players, Xavier Roberson, one of your best players coming back, clearly this team revolved around the quarterback. Brian Bennett was outstanding, and correct me if you think I'm wrong, he still has a lot of room to get better. Agreed? Yeah, I agree. He's going to get a lot better go through this spring, go into the next fall, get another year under his belt. It's going to be huge. There were games that he literally just took over the game. Yeah. Well, he's, he's one of those true dual-threat quarterbacks. I mean, he, when he pulls the ball down, whether it be a designed run or just by him, him uh, taking the ball down and scrambling, he can really hurt you with his feet. What are the things you work on with him this spring? A uh, big thing for him is being in that pocket and understanding going for reads one, two, three, recognizing the defense, is being able to, you know, handle protections and change and make sure he has a real uh, good grasp of all the concepts we're asking him to do in throwing football. Same to say he's a guy who's lived on his physical ability and now once he puts the mental side together with it, can be scary, right? What, no, no, he's, he's an NFL player and he's going to have an opportunity to play on Sunday and I think whatever... Uh, the, the much progress he makes this season is going to depend on obviously where he goes and when the opportunity comes and, and how long he's going to be there. Your recruiting class this year, 13 transfers, seven come over from four-year schools, six junior college transfers. Here are a few of the, the big names that a lot of people will know. Jordan Batiste started at Tulane, sort of a Tyron Matthew kind of player can do it all from a cornerback spot. Mikey Eugene was a huge recruit. Jerquinic Sandoff, a huge recruit. Both guys had a hard time finding the field at LSU. But those are three guys who could make huge contributions in your secondary. Correct? Well, I, I definitely think they're all they're all three impact players. Uh, you know, I think we signed so we signed five guys. We went out trying to find five guys to create some depth in that secondary and, and build up some strength. And we found five, five impact players. So I'm real excited about them. the the theories behind taking transfers and it, it happens a lot at the FBS level where you'll get guys who for whatever reason don't get playing time guys like Brian Bennett highly recruited coming out of high school um, how do you try to find the right mix when, when you're looking at transfers and, and four-year guys? It, it's a delicate balance, isn't it? It, it is. I mean, and like anything else, you've got to recruit the young man and find out what type of kid he is, too. I mean, you don't want to recruit any problems and, and, and you know, stay away from that. But you also want to make sure they're a fit for your program and where they're going to come in and, and make sure they fit in with your guys, not come in there and, uh, you know, um, pound their chest and expect things to happen for them. And you also were able to find 21 players in the recruiting class from the state of Louisiana. Some of the high school recruits you were able to bring in. You brought five in from Tangibo Parish, four from St. Tammany, three from Orleans. Here are a few of the bigger name guys. Anthony Milton from Landry Walker. He projects as a safety. Jeremy Smith, the running back from Hammond High. And Peyton Winbush, who played center on that terrific St. Aug team. You were able to find a lot of guys. You don't have to go real far to find talent, do you? No. The, the, well, that's one of the things I was coming about this job when New Southeastern was a, was a hidden hidden gem. It was in there just the talent level here in Louisiana. High school recruiting is unbelievable and you don't have to go very far to get them. There's a lot of great players that we really we came ran out of room this year. Uh, some players I would love to have on our team. We just ran out of scholarships. Hidden gems. The way Hammond and the Southeastern community rose up. Strawberry Stadium was an event this football season. Really became a fun place. How would you describe the, the lion-up rally that your team got, because the support was really incredible, beyond what many people thought was possible. Right. I think uh, it, towards the end of the season, it really just took off to a totally different level. And uh, community, uh, alumni, all just the supporters everywhere, um, just, did, just did an incredible job. Uh, I really think that we have an electrifying atmosphere, probably one of the best uh, home field advantages in FCS football. Um, last question. Can your team... Or are you willing to put these kind of expectations? Can you make a run towards a national championship this football season? Well, that's our expectations for our program. We're recruiting kids coming in is that we want to win South and Conference and compete for national championships on a yearly basis. So that's part of the expectations we've set forth from ourselves and to our, the kids we've recruited. 
Ron Roberts, thank you for being here. I believe you've got the talent to make a run this coming football season. Terrific job in 2000, in 2013. Thank you for being here. Back with more 4th Down 4 in a minute.